the general mood of the episode is somber. The theme, vengeance. An aftermath of Banner's deadly ambush. The family settles into a melancholy routine. Kara Dutton is devastated. Always making trips to the post office to check for feedback from Spencer who has been away battling the wild. No cable. Not today. Hope is quickly fading in the Yellowstone. The courage allows me to remove hope early so I can get on with my day. As the writer puts it the Duttons are getting extinct. Only four are left and are all preoccupied with their own thoughts, revenge and heartbreaks. Everything was falling apart. The school is in a mess. Sister Mary's reign was unceremoniously halted by Tiona and the priest is employing rather ruthless means to get the truth. Tiana's cousin is brutally forced into confessing the plans of the escapee. One last blow turns the poor girl's lights off. Banner's jaw is slaked by the modern fittings in the house, Whitfield showcasing ice the cake. That most precious of resources becomes an afterthought. And when he is handed the key, the deal is sealed. It's yours. I want the whole valley. Jack having shifted focus to their property, Elizabeth feels neglected and threatens to leave. This works like a charm. Love is blooming, vows shared, and bonds are strengthened. Not entirely somber after all. Spencer is facing the same fate in the hands of a different woman. He is forced to comply contrary to his best and logical judgment. She also wins the fight and the trip set. Spencer finally finds a chance to respond to Kara before they half-heartedly board a rusty boat. Spencer and Alexandra are given a crash course on how to steer the boat and left to bond. They reassure themselves. Cable came this morning. And I'm coming home.